Um, is Carolyn on? Yep. All right. Carolyn, do you have your ad ready to go and business manager pulled up? If not, uh, well, first of all, I don't want to volunteer you. Um, would you like to volunteer? <laughs> sure. Happy to. Okay. Um, let me make sure business manager is pulled up because my computer decided to restart earlier. <laughs> no worries. But my no ad is ready to go. Awesome. So we're going to try to keep this to about 20 minutes. Um, and what we'll do is go ahead and share screen. Um, have business manager pulled up and we'll walk through this step by step. Great. All right. So is this the awareness campaign that you've already started or do you want to start from scratch? Uh, oh, that was just a draft that we did to make sure it was working, so. Cool. All right, so go ahead and hit the Create button, and we'll go right from uh, from the beginning here. Yep, so we're going to choose Awareness, and then Continue. <clears throat> and then you can call the campaign whatever you want. Um, so right now, we are at the campaign level, and this is kind of where we are. Um, we're telling Facebook... This is our ad campaign, you know, in a broad brush stroke, these are the goals that we're looking to accomplish with this campaign. So we already told it awareness. Um, when we get down to um, the next portion in the ad set level, we'll be able to tell Facebook exactly what the goal of the awareness campaign is. So go ahead and uh, scroll down just a little bit because you don't, um, actually I should ask you, um, if you go up to the top there in that little drop down menu where it says special ad categories, can you just click on that so everyone can see what it is? Facebook is going to ask you if you're doing anything with like credit card offers or like housing or employment or, you know, uh, politics. They have special processes that you have to go through for that, um, which is why I think I said, you know, at some point in the class, uh, if you're doing any type of real estate listings, we've had a few students do those. They're like, so like minor to jump through, so you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. So go ahead and, and scroll down uh, just a little bit more so we can see that next box to the campaign details. So you can see there, you know, it shows that your um, campaign objective is going to be awareness. Um, for right now, um, we're not going to do an A-B test for this. Uh, what we will do, though, is toggle on the Advantage campaign budget. Uh, what that basically means is we're telling Facebook to use its AI um, to figure out how to best manage your budget. It's not going to overspend for you, but it's also not going to underspend for you. It's going to be Goldilocks having just the, that perfect porridge. With this, also, what we need to tell Facebook to do um, is what our budget is going to be. So you have an option here of a daily budget. Um, what we suggest is doing a lifetime budget for this campaign. So if you click on the drop-down tab, you get an opportunity to click on lifetime budget, and you probably don't want to do $700. Um, in this case, we recommend doing anywhere from $50 to $100. Perfect. Um, you can leave your campaign bid strategy at highest volume. That's okay. And for now, um, if you wanted to really get into the weeds, you can tell Facebook what time periods to optimize your ad. We're not going to be doing that just because we're not spending a lot of money on this ad. So it'll cost us more um, to do an option like that uh, versus, you know, not have it run overnight, uh, for example. So go ahead and click next. And what this is going to do now is we've kind of given Facebook the idea of, all right, this is my broad brush stroke campaign. Now we can start to get into the weeds a little bit. Um, and this is where you're going to be at your ad set level. And at your ad set level, um, this is where we're going to be able to tell Facebook where we're going to place the ad. We're going to talk about the audience of where that's going to go. So, Carolyn, you can you can name your ad set, um, whatever you'd like here. And then go ahead um, where it says awareness and performance goals, go ahead and click that little drop down tab. 
Awesome. So this just goes and, and it tells you the different um, the different types of goals that Facebook can use to to optimize your ad. This is where we're telling it um, if we wanted to, you know, maximize the reach of the ad. Um, we're not going to do this with this ad. Remember, we want people to watch the video. So if you scroll down here to video view goals, you'll see that little radio uh, button where it says maximize con two second continuous video views. That will give us the best bang for our buck um, option to reach uh, and engage as many people as we can to watch the ad. Um, important here, if you have more than one Facebook page, make sure you have the right Facebook page uh, selected under Facebook page. And I'm assuming you do, Carolyn, so that's good. Um, go ahead and, and scroll down to where it, go, uh, it shows dynamic creative. Um, this would provide creative elements such as images and headlines. Um, will automatically generate a uh, combo optimized for your audience. I would leave this checked off for now, but if it's something that you want to explore in the future, go for it. Um, it's not anything that's going to make or break your ad. So just for the simplicity of it, we'll leave that toggled off for now. And then finally, um, budget and schedule. So what you can do here is set your schedule um, to run whenever you want it to. So uh, Caroline, I think you want yours to run um, to promote for Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving, uh, Valentine's Day. <laughs> Clearly I, I'm in hungry for some turkey or, or fixings, I don't know. Um, what most of you are going to want to do is set your ad to run at least seven days, um, at least five days, but no more than seven days. That's gonna be kind of the sweet spot for you to have Facebook spend your 50 bucks. Um, so Carolyn, you could start yours um, as early as today, or you could set it for tomorrow morning um, if you wanted to get more of a, a daytime uh, access to it. And you can actually set it for, you know, whatever time you wanted it to launch to whatever time you wanted it to end. Just keep in mind that um, Facebook, th the more money you spend, um, the, the greater amount of time you can stretch out your ad. Um, the, the less amount of money you spend, in fact, um, the shorter amount of time you'll be able to run your ad for a campaign. Facebook will tell you like, hey man, I can't run your ad for six weeks if you're only spending 25 bucks. Um, I, I don't know what the daily minimum is off the top of my head, but you'll get a window that says, you know, you need to either up your campaign budget or shrink the amount of time that your ad is running in order for us to spend your money. Okay, so you've got your start date and you've got your end date. Um, go ahead and scroll down to... Uh, the next section here, um, budget scheduling. Uh, we already we already told Facebook um, what that looks like, um, and we already went over the ad set spending limits at the campaign level. Um, so we don't need to go in here and make any major changes to that. Um, what you need to pay attention to, and if you walked away from your computer um, or you want to take notes, is going to be this audience control section, because this is where we are telling Facebook where we want our ad to be placed. Right now, Carolyn's estimated audience size 244 million because it's capturing as many people as it can within the US. Um, what we want to do here is uh, scroll down and just click on that more button if you would, just so we can see an expansion in that window. Um, what you can do for in this spot is add um, any existing audiences you have, any custom audiences. This would be where you could bring in pixel data, for example. Um, from you know uh, data that your website is captured from people. Um, down below that is the Advantage Plus audience, which we talked about on Monday. This is gonna be the default for Facebook. So this is important for you all to see too. What you can do is there's a couple of different places where you can update your audience. But if you click on switch to original audience options, that's gonna open up uh, a new window for you to choose the saved audience, the core audience, um, that you put together as your homework assignment heading into today. And it's going to give you a warning saying, hey, hey, are you sure you want to do this? You know, we can save you money by um, using Meta's audience. And it's not lying. But for those of you who are running an ad for the first time, remember, Facebook has no idea where to place it because it doesn't know anything about your customers. So for this exercise, we'll just click on use original audience. And then from here, if you scroll down, you can see that tab where it says use saved audience. So if you click on that, that should show the audience that you built um, 
as part of your homework assignment. It looks like it might be loading for a minute. Uh, did you build out an audience, Carolyn? Um, so I missed Monday, so I was catching up last night and focusing okay. on getting my ad ready for today. And I know the companies run ads before, but it's not an audience we want to target for this. Gotcha. So for everyone else who's watching, um, th this is still okay. This is a good use case example. Um, but if you click on you saved audience, the audience that you built and saved within your audience manager would pop up. Um, and from that, you would see that really big estimated audience of 244 million um, drop to that targeted 50,000 to 1 million um, uh, of estimated audience. So what that's also going to do is if you scroll down, Carolyn, um, you'll see all of these other um, options here, such as locations, gender, detailed targeting, all of that will be filled out already from your saved audience. So you won't need to um, go back and play with that again. But if you wanted to build an audience right from here, you can do that too. You don't have to go back to your audience builder um, to do that. You could do it within the ad set level. Um, so go ahead and scroll down just a little bit more so we can make sure that um, our placements are where they want them to be. What we're gonna do here is click on manual placements. And this is just an exercise so you can see um, where Facebook is dishing up your ad. Um, you got a number of different areas, you know, Facebook and Instagram are a given. Um, audience network is also an option and that's gonna be some of the third party websites that Facebook has partnerships with. Um, you can place your ad there. The downside of that is you're not gonna harvest any pixel data um, from that, uh, which is kind of a bummer. You can for Facebook and Instagram, but not audience network. So you can actually unselect audience network from this so that we're putting our pixel to work um, to give us information, you know, just from Facebook, just from Instagram. And if you scroll down, uh, based on what type of ad you're creating, um, you can pick and choose where you want your ad to be placed on Facebook. It, it can go directly in the feed. If you have it built out for a story or an Instagram reel, um, you can choose to have it go there. Now, most of you um, built your ads out to be a one-by-one -one ratio, which is not going to play well with stories and reels. And I'm not sure what you have, Carolyn, for your ad, um, but if yours is optimized with more vertical video um, versus a square video, um, feeds is probably going to be your best place um, to be placing your ad. Um, you can also, if you scroll down a little bit more, you can see where it shows like search results. Um, people who might be searching for your business might see that ad pop up. Um, and you could also have Facebook place it on external apps and websites. Um, probably not what you want to be doing for the purposes of this class. I would say um, for those of you who have a one-to-one -one ad, um, just uncheck the rest of these boxes and have that ad placed in feed. And actually Facebook tells you here, you know, what the best aspect ratio is for um, each of these ads, which is pretty helpful to you. So once you have that, um, what you can do is click on the next button and it'll take you to the actual ad level. And this is where you're going to be filling out. Um, you have to name your ad. Um, you've already shown um, what Facebook page it's going to go to. Um, and what's kind of cool is as you're filling out this information, Facebook is giving you an ad preview on the right-hand side, uh, which is pretty sweet. Um, if you scroll down a little bit, um, you're seeing your Facebook page there. Um, the Instagram account, if you have your Instagram tied to your Facebook, that's good. Um, within your ad setup, Facebook is gonna ask you, you know, what you want to do for an ad. And in this case, you're gonna select the single image or video button. Um, with that, um, you can go down to your ad creative and then you should be able to see that upload button for add video. So if you click on that, um, you'll be able to add your video or if you're doing a couple of different images that you've turned into a video, just do that quickly on Canva and export it as a video and you'll be in pretty good shape there. And as Carolyn is putting that, um, uploading her video, it, it shouldn't take too, too long. Um, it'll upload it to your, your meta library um, this would be accessible via your creative hub. Um, 
and it'll save some of the the media that you've used for ads before. Is it being wonky for you? Is it does not like the file type or? I don't know if it's the file type or it just said didn't want to upload. Let's see if it, uh, any edits were not selected. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's skip this part for now because we're running a little short on time. Um, but I think this shows you um, how you would upload your video to it. Um, let's go down to where we would actually put in our primary text. So remember, if you whoop, scroll just a little bit here, a little bit more. So this primary text, if you type into that box, um, kind of the idea of concept or ad concept you were thinking of, um, what we're going to see is as Carolyn types out, you know, what she is thinking for that, um, we're going to see that pop up on the right hand side of her screen. So you can kind of see in real time how your ad is shaping up. We'll see if it does it just because your video is not there. It may not. Um, so we'll, we'll see once you click off that screen, if it shows up or not. What's kind of cool too, is it's generating different versions of the text as well. That's just the AI at work for you. Um, it may have, you know, a, a better version that you can optimize for that. So like the suggestion versions has the emojis in there and it's kind of cool. So um, you can pay attention to that, you know, use it if you want to use it. If not, that's okay too. So once you have the primary text uploaded, there it is. Perfect. Yay. Uh, oh, good. I'm so glad that that's popping up now. I was like, oh, where is it? So go ahead and scroll down just a little bit more. Um, so I want to make sure we can get in the other components of the ad here um, and then leave a few minutes uh, to run the uh, feedback poll. But if you go down to your, your headline, um, this is going to be what we want to um, capture the attention of, of the viewer um, of the ad. So this could be, you know, chat with us. Um, start your story, like your Valentine's Day story. Yeah. Very cool. And then your destination. Oh, yeah, go ahead and put in your description. Getting ahead of myself. So if you go over on the right hand side and you just right. scroll down a little bit, you should be able to see your ad preview building out those things. Sometimes it's going to be a little funky um, with that. There we go. There it goes. Yeah. So you can kind of see how it's coming together as Carolyn is building it out. So over on the destination here, that's where, um, if you scroll up just a, a bit above tracking, um, just a little bit more. Okay, so here we would want to probably send people to a website. So you can toggle that button and then it'll ask you what website to send to. And then the display link, um, that is going to be the link that shows up um, of the website. So it can be the same thing in most cases. Yeah. And it'll tell you if that the link doesn't work. <laughs>
So if you scroll down uh, a little bit further, the next piece of this would be tracking. Um, if you have a pixel setup, this is where you would enable your pixel um, and toggle that on. Do you have one set up, Carolyn? I don't yet. Okay. That's, that's on okay. the to-do list. Um, a pixel is not required to run this ad. Uh, if you have one, tracking um, in this section is where you would assign that pixel um, to your ad. So if you scroll down, let's just make sure we didn't miss anything. <clears throat> you don't need to build a URL parameter. That's that's not required either. Um, with this though, it, we're still, obviously Carolyn needs to build out her, um, uh, her audience. If you click on the little I that says review, this will open it up in um, what should be a new tab for you, not, or not new tab, but a pop-up window. Um, and also from here, uh, you kind of get a, a good overview of what the ad is going to look like. Um, and if you click over on the right-hand side, it shows you how it's going to look on Facebook. And then immediately next to that is Instagram. And this would be an in-feed ad. So it's actually, it's pretty good. I, I like the creative there. Um, the video is fantastic. Thank and then you. If, if you wanted to, you can also, um, if you click back on the uh, the Facebook feed preview, you should be able to generate a link um, with this. Let's go ahead and scroll down. Is that all the way at the bottom? Um, they may have yeah. moved to the top. Uh, go ahead and scroll back up to the top of the window if you would. Uh, yes, there it is. So if you click on that share button, what you can do is share a link, and this would be a preview link um, of the ad. Doesn't mean that the link, um, it doesn't mean that your ad is live, but you can send it to people like, hey, you know, what do you think of my ad before you hit that publish button? 